Japanese submarine slammed two torpedoes into her side chief. We were coming back from the island of Kenny and the lady and just delivered the bomb. The Uchima bomb. 700 men went into the water. The vessel went down in 12 minutes. Didn't see the first shot for about half an hour. Tiger, that's being put up. You know how you know that when you're in the water? You know by looking through the doors and sitting there. And what we didn't know was our bomb mission had been so secret. No distress signal had been sent. They didn't even let us overdue for a week. So my very first flight chief shots come cruising. So we formed ourselves into tight groups. Kind of like old squares in the battles like you see in the challenges, like the Battle of Waterloo. Well the idea was the shot comes to the nearest man, or well, that man, and start pounding, hollering, and screaming. Sometimes the shot would go away. Sometimes he wouldn't go away. Sometimes with that shot, he looks right in you. Right in your eyes. Think about a shark, he's got lifeless eyes, black eyes, like a dog's eyes. He's coming at you. He doesn't seem to be living. So he bites you. Then, then black eyes and roll over white. Then you, ah, you hear that terrible high pitch screaming. The ocean turns red, and despite all the pounding and the hollering, the open air, they rip you to pieces. You know, by the end of that first dawn, we lost a hundred men. I don't know how many sharks, maybe a thousand. Don't know how many men, an average six an hour. But Thursday morning, Chief, I bumped into a friend of mine. Kirby Robinson from Cleveland, baseball player, both in the And I thought he was asleep. He reached over to wake him up. He started bobbing up and down in the water like a kind of pop. Where? He had been sitting in half below the waist. In the fifth day, Mr. Hooper, well, Keith Ventura saw us coming low when he saw us. It's a young pilot, a lot younger than Mr. Hooper. Well, anyways, he saw us and coming low. And about three hours later, they decided to see why comes down to start to pick us up. You know, that was the time I was most frightened. Just waiting for my time. I'll never put on a life jacket again. So, 1,100 men went into the water. 316 men come out. The shocks took the rest. June the 29th, 1945. Well, anyways, we delivered the bomb.